Hello, beautiful people. We have Jennifer Dorn uh, here channeling a very interesting topic. We're going to delve into the Akashic Records, and Eric is going to be the one that's giving us this information, my son from the other side. Jennifer Doran, you can click on the link below to find her, but also, I'll just tell you, it's psychicmediumjenniferdoran.com. And after you listen to this, you're going to want to book a session. Okay, I'm sure there are openings very soon, hopefully. Anyway, all right. Hi, Eric. I love you. Hello. I love you, too. Um, was there a man talking right when we logged in? No, yeah, this is my husband, probably. Okay, I just, you know, you just never know. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, about the Akashic Records, and by the way, I love you. Did I say that already? I can't remember. Yes. No, I yes, and he, he said he loves you, too. Okay. Can anyone read them, the Akashic Records? Kind of like I put myself in some sort of special meditative state and go read my, I'd be afraid to read my Akashic Records, I'm telling you. So, uh, no, not everybody is allowed to see the Akashic Records and read them. Not everybody has the ability to do it or the know-how. Um, there are, yes, yeah, some people com completely not. You're asking about humans, right? Yeah, humans. humans. Yeah. Yes. No, he said no. No, not everybody can. Not everybody's allowed to. Can they? Oh, not allowed to. Why? Mm -hmm. What would be some um, reasons? It would be just like he said, maybe you would have put the block on it before you came in. It, like, nope, do mm. not allow me to have access to okay. this. Or, you know, so um, it's not some astral, um, uh, I mean, astral record librarian saying, mm -mm, you don't have a library card, dude. It's not yeah. No, no, and and he said even, you know, from the from from being human, eh, you really wouldn't be able to see everything, anyways. It's it's yeah, it's just too hard. It's, yeah, it's, it's such just, a high vibration. Yes. Probably it'd be hard to access it. Plus, you don't want all the secret of the cat to be uh, get out of the bag. Yeah. You know, just for you know the the purpose of your learning, your human experience. Right. Right? Yes. It, yeah. Yeah. So some of it, yeah, absolutely would take away from. Yeah. You know, if we had all the answers while we were here, there'd be no reason to be here. I know. It's like so. cheating on a test. Yes. You know, having all the stuff in the inside of your arm. Hmm, okay. A. All right. Um, <laughs> what about spirits? Can any spirit access the the records? Yes. Yeah. He said from from the spirit world. Yes, there are rules. He's saying there are, you know, like there, you wouldn't necessarily, there are rules. He said there are rules. So you, you just, it's not like you're just going and like snooping on somebody else's journey necessarily. Yeah, you know, I'm sure you that another person or spirit could say, I don't want in, anybody to, any spirit to access my records. Can that be? Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, there can be. Absolutely. Yes. Why would they do that? Um, it's not, it's like, he says, really, actually, it's done sometimes for, to surprise each other. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. so there would be certain things that maybe you wouldn't be able to see or would be hidden from you, but it, but there's also wouldn't, we wouldn't have the desire to go and look at stuff if we weren't supposed to look at it or didn't need to look at right. it. Or, um, he said like, you might, so like when you're, the, the Akashic records are, they're changing. They're, it's, it's like a, a living thing. A living, like an energetic, thing. Yes. So like he's saying, like one of the reasons that there might be rules is if like you're planning a life, as you start planning a life, the Akashic record starts to form. Oh. So when you're still in spirit, you may not really be allowed or, or want to go and look at, see what the Akashic records for the future of that life on earth is going to be because it may taint things. So yeah, right. You wouldn't allow yourself. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can the records be used to help you on your soul journey? For example, maybe you come here to achieve something and you forgot, but by reading the files uh, at the point of your uh, putting together your soul contract, you could see what is left to achieve. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Tapping in and, Get, getting bits of the Akashic records while you're here, yes, can absolutely be helpful yeah. for, it's like he's saying like a checklist almost, like, you know, checking and yeah. seeing like, okay. Like my to-do yeah. list. Yes. I'm, I'm famous for my to-do list. 
I just have lists of my to-do lists. All right. Um, okay. Or because everything ha happens in divine timing, should we not meddle? Because we could be shortening our lives by completing the game that we call life. And so, then do we go back to heaven as soon as we have achieved all we came here for? That's where, that's where he's, Eric's saying, it's like, it's a little tricky because, yeah, stuff does happen in divine timing, but we can absolutely come here to a life with the intentions of working on something and not doing it, okay? Oh. So, yeah. so we don't come in every lifetime and achieve everything we set out to do. That yeah. would take away free will. There, again, there'd be no reason to do it if we had planned every last detail out over there and then came in here. Right. So, yes, stuff does happen in divine timing. But if you're down here working or, and it, with the intention of working on something and you don't do it, well, then there's no divine timing down that path because you're right. not doing what you intended to do. All right. So it would be good to kind of tap into the cosmic records and you, yes. see, you see, wow, I'm, I'm here to learn self-forgiveness. I need to do that, but I haven't been mm -hmm. working on that. Maybe I should get some inner child work. I mean, something like that, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, the, because, go ahead. Oh, no, just he was saying because if you, you know, if you don't, maybe you don't know you're supposed to be working on it or you're ignoring it. Yeah. You know, something in your life keeps a pattern, keeps coming up and you're not paying attention to it. Then, you know, to have a, a dip into the Akashic Records and see, oh, I, I, I'm planning to work on this. I put these struggles in here. Let me see if I can come at them from a different way. If I can, you, you know, it's like about your perspective. If you see it in the Akashic Records, like, okay, this is a bigger picture thing. Yeah. It can sometimes actually make a situation easier to deal with and work with and, and um, move yeah, through. Yeah, I bet. It's like the universe always sends us like mess signals that, hey, you should be working on this they, with a little yes. feather, right? And if you don't do it, it's like ball ping hammer. If you don't do yes. that, sledgehammer, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, and so things can get harder and harder, the signs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so this person, I think, is worried. What What if you see your you have know, one less, last thing to do, work on self-love, and you do it? Do you die? Does that mean you no, go? it doesn't, it, it doesn't, um, no, because really you could, yes, you could, uh, you know, let go of any of your self doubt or self hatred and find self love just because in that instant that you shift that to that energy doesn't mean there's not still more to learn about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just if, you know, or maybe you just, if, okay, I'm going to take my vacation days now. My, yes. my PTO, I'm going to take the, the PTO, <laughs> this personal time off days. Uh, or I have, um, I've heard that you could heal yourself by reading the Akashic records and finding out if you have blocked emotions. Does this work? It does. Yes, it does for some. Absolutely. Uh, not for everybody. It's not going to, it's not going to work for everybody. This would be the type of situation where if, if healing can happen, if there is some free will or some energetic work that can be released and let go of to heal this. Yes. If it's absolutely, you know, in the contract to learn about, it might not, not work, but yeah. And sometimes this is like, um, he's saying knowing is half the battle. Yeah. It, seeing the Akashic records and, and getting something like that. Sometimes just knowing that it's something you're supposed to be dealing with or that it, that it was there can help you release it. Wow. So just by reading it, sometimes that can actually clear yeah. the block. Yeah. So like, for instance, I've done, I've been doing readings, you know, before and, you know, you tap in, you know, Eric has shown me like a past life where, you know, the person was murdered by having their throat slit. And then it's like the person sitting in front of you hears that and then they can let go of oh my God, I've always had this fear around my neck or my throat chakra has always been blocked. I always had, you know, and just making the connection can sometimes release it. Yeah, I've seen uh, people like had a past life reading and they were stabbed in the back mm -hmm. with a spear. And uh, when they find that out, all of a sudden the chronic back pain disappears. Yep. Because just they realize piece, where it's coming from. Yeah, that piece of information that connects yeah. the dots can just That's can so help cool. you let it go. Yeah. There are so many people these days with anxiety and or depression. 
Could some of this be linked with blocked emotions and negative experiences from previous life? Of course, the answer absolutely, is absolutely, yeah. So that's why I think everybody should get a pet. Should everybody get a past life regression and look so, at the most significant lives? Yes and no. So a person sometimes people won't just won't go under hypnosis, you know, and it's really you really do need to kind of go under hypnosis to be able to really see it. So past life regression, hypnosis, sometimes people aren't in the right mental state of mind to do yeah. it. So um, if the information that they could find out would be more harmful than helpful, then no. Oh. Um, if, if there's some mental health issues that maybe need addressing, it, right. it's probably better to maybe address those before we um, do something like that. But yes, now, there is benefits for most everybody, depending on the state of mind that they're in at the time. Now, you can actually have a session with a person and tell them about their past lives, if, unless it's forbidden, right? Yes. Well, yes. Cool. You don't have to always be regressed, in other words. Correct. Yeah. Right. So remember, check out Jennifer, a psychic medium, Jennifer Doran. She can do that for you. Now we know she can do it. I yeah. bet. Uh, all right. How are our thoughts, feelings, and actions recorded onto something that we can't see? It's just vibration. It's probably like, it's, what's it, what does it look like, Eric, when you go into that big library? Okay. Is there a it, library? What's it, tell me about that. So the doing? Akashic records look different to different souls. Okay. Over there and here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it looks like a library. Sometimes it looks like computers. Sometimes it, it just looks different. It just depends on what you're preferences for perceiving it uh for him it, there it, there is something video game like about it mm. uh i feel i see i'm seeing like scrolling screens like computer like more computer screens than like scrolls of you know paper yes yeah. yes yep yeah. yeah. so okay. um it's a it's a vast you know i can't even see, vast space but it's all it's yes computery for him i would say is what it is what it looks like but he said if i want it to look like an old-timey you know very quaint bookstore it could you know like it okay. just it's but usually that's how it looks for him well what is it is it like this net of, of sacred geometry that's what, what is it truly is, or, or the, just it's energetic lights of uh, um <laughs> waves what is it? What is it actually? It's um. I, I, honestly, I just it's. I'm getting just the zeros and ones, the zeros and ones, like the oh, just you know, just like the like everything. Like code. Yes, yes. It's that's how it feels to me. It, it's it's. I don't. It's not really a thing. It's not really a thing unless you're like going to look at it. Is right. is kind of. Oh. It's just there. It just exists. It's energy and then out in the you, ethers it's, yes when you go to look at it it can become more tangible so oh, to speak oh, interesting yeah uh by accessing your akashic records can you activate things you've learned in other lives like la other languages or skills like oh, i want to be a karate expert that'd be cool can you do that oh so, you yes and no <laughs> he said you you know, if you see something, it might spark your interest, but typically you would still have to do whatever learning would need yeah. to be done as a human to, to attain that. Yes. Calculus. I need yeah. calculus in another life. Yes. Pass my exams now. Uh, can other people read your acoustic files without your knowledge? Or is it totally private? So if we're talking human to human. Yeah. yeah I, I, mean, so. I mean, yeah. I, I, yes. I mean, technically... It's like, um, it's equivalent to psychic ability. Like people might be able to tap into it. They're not going to going to see anything that they're absolutely not supposed to. And they're not just going to go into your records and read everything about every life that you've ever had. Yeah. Um, that's just not how that works. Okay. That's good. So what is sacred geometry even, Eric? I mean, why the lines and the little rosettes and all that? I mean, it's beautiful, but what? What is it? It it what are the just lines? it just well. This is going to be hard for me because I don't have really a frank like a, like I don't have the information um, that I, I would need to put it into words. But it's it just is about 
like everything, like the energy, the world, the like it's same with the zeros and the ones, the sacred geometry for me anyways, and the zeros and ones, it's, it's all connected. It's energy. It's the collective conscious. It's what it's, it's yeah. everything. I mean, I'm looking at pictures here, but uh, like, it's, it's so cool. And I'm, yes, I'm and the guy, Andre, that does sacred geometry art. It's beautiful, you know? Yeah. And of course, like on here on earth, like sacred geometry, there's certain, you know, patterns that you can use for, for certain, you know, putting energy into a certain, a certain a thing. Like if you, if you have a, you know, like the mat at home and, and you can lay the crystals a certain way to oh, call yeah. in certain energies. Uh -huh. um, you know, you can, sometimes they build gardens in the, in the sacred geometry, but it's all about the energy and the energy flow is, is what, what he's saying. And, and certain, those certain shapes mean certain things, but um, it's just, a, it really, the, it's about everything, the collect, the collective, the connecting everything. Um, is it related to the string theory in physics? I mean, like vibration, the uh, vibration of a string will create particle and those particles create reality. So I am going to say yes, because that's what Eric is saying, but I have no <laughs> idea how or why uh, or anything. I don't like either. That. That's fine. <laughs> it's probably sacred geometry for dummies. <laughs> Can you visit the, I mean, me being one of them. Can you visit the Akashic uh, Library as an astral traveler, just like going into a library and thumbing through books? Or is it just more of a knowing, as in you see the information? No, no, no. Yeah. You can absolutely astral travel. People can astral travel into the Akashic Records, yes. Interesting. Yes, for the most part, when people are actually seeing the Akashic Records, um, like that's, he says actually more often you've astral traveled there, whether you're aware of it or not, like you're, there with it okay so can you go to the uh, go to astral records and just have it downloaded in, or uploaded into your soul or to your energetic body into your mind whatever yes but it's you, you know you wouldn't have everything that ever oh no is no. or will be but yes parts but of you don't have to see visually see things correct you could just yep the claircognizance yes oh, okay all right or do some people absorb by, by different players, like audio recording, not recording, but whatever. Yes. Yeah. So, and so digital. getting, the, um, as humans, getting the information from the Akashic records would come through one of the clairs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Any of the clairs, even clairsentience? Mm, yes. The, the clairsentience with the Akashic Records can be hard without some claircognizant information as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, like, you could you could tap into your Akashic Record and just be and just say, oh, I feel like, yeah, I am supposed to be experiencing this. You know, like, okay, I do okay. feel like this is right. I, you know, that's oh, maybe how it would, okay. the clairsentience would come in. Okay. The last little bit here. Can you find out about your future as well as the past by reading the Akashic Files? Or the yes. In this, you can. Are the files, in fact, a script that was already written and perhaps changes with free will? That's a yes. good question. Yes, it does oh, change man. with free will. Yes. So it's already there, like your, your record for this life, printed out, and maybe future and past lives. I don't know. But yes. Then, then that's the quantum probability for those records. But free will can change the quantum probability. Is that it, it, yes, it can. But but what I'm seeing, what Eric is showing me, is that like like if something, if if a particular situation in a particular lifetime is completely free will, then there might not be really anything about the akashic record there yet until you get there. But uh -oh. there'd be like an avenue for it. Okay. Or if you put like um, say you put something in your life where at this moment there's going to be this big decision in my life, but I could go either way. Oh. Like at that point in the Akashic records, he said they're both paths are there. Yeah. But as you take one, the other one fades out sort of. So yes, it's yeah. that's like, why in like the beginning he was saying, yeah, yeah. it's like an, 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 a living thing that, that changes yeah. and, and alters. Um, so like what, one of the things like with um, some of the work that you do, with the Atlantis scalar is I, I, I can't remember the wording right now, but if you want to get something out of your contract, what do you say about that? 
Oh, like revoking, uh, revoking. Or, yes. Some so can, like, some cannot. Yeah. So like if in that situation, if somebody has something that was in their contract that they revoke, that would change in the acoustic records when you've done the work and it, and it revokes. Okay. For, for, for that particular person. Okay. Um, yeah. I like that. Uh, are the acoustic, you know, I, I remember uh, learning about thought creating reality. You have a thought, I'm going to go buy a blender. And that, that quantum probability is like, you know, 75%. The more you think it, the more, but then you decide not to. Mm -hmm. So that, that other thought goes in a different pathway, a different quantum probability. So are, are the acoustic records kind of like that? Are they thought forms? Uh, there is it's some, there, yeah, there is some of that there. And then there's some that's just set there. And this is what's going to happen at this point in time. This is the direction you're going to go. All right. Um, it's like, um, you know, I, I, spider webs or like, you know, the nervous system, you know how the nervous system looks like with all the tendrils. Is that the right oh, word? Yeah, right. Yeah. It's uh, like yeah. that. Yeah. Like when you're down here living a life, it's. Like your Akashic record looks more like that, okay. like with the possibilities. Yeah. But when you're actually on the other side, obviously there's, he says there's still Akashic records like happening, but it's not, it's not quite as like diverse or like, okay. you know, they there's not as the life already. So yes. they're cemented. Yes. Sealed. Yes. And when we're on the other side, things are a lot less unpredictable although we do have free will over there to yeah. incarnate or do, and do things but it's it's uh, you know as a as a human like that our life can change as oh, yeah. a lot of people well know but it's um, like on the other side it's like the arrest records have been sealed <laughs> well and we're not it's not those kind of shocking jarring things that can happen you know yeah yeah uh, which which I guess is why he's saying we hide the Akashic records for, for some people because it is a lot harder to have surprises and stuff over there. I know. Um, so. I don't think y'all can ever have surprise birthday parties, can you? No, no. All right. Oh, I should have kept reading. For example, if a person is stuck in a really bad relationship or situation, can they see that in the future they are happy and that the situation is resolved? It could help a lot of people to move on more quickly and take chances that they might not have taken otherwise. It's so it, it is possible. However, a big part of being human is getting yourself out of unhappy situations, having the oh yeah, learning how to yes. learning to make yes. a decision about it. Yes, if you know, we like, all knew we were going to be happy after we did this, this it loses the effect of learning. So. So it's yeah, possible, I mean it's possible, but yes, it's not really advised. you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, we need to learn we have to trust the process. To trust our and, intuition about yes. the person, whether we have faith in them or not, be self-empowered in a toxic mm -hmm. or learn how to be become re re reclaim your power and your energetic sovereignty from that person. Yes. And, uh, and how to make, how to ma create solutions to the relationship problems, how to yeah. work them. So, yeah. He, he, and he really is saying, like, if you are somebody sitting here watching this and you are in a toxic, unhappy relationship, more than likely, if you heal, you will be happier if you leave the relationship and heal yourself. If you just bounce from one toxic thing to another. Yeah. But, you know, if you're, if you're, questioning like oh, maybe i'd be better off single then you'd probably be better off single and <laughs> just yeah do it you know maybe you should get uh um astrological readings as a couple with um mm -hmm. uh, uh raylene nuanis yes and, all right well that's all i have anything else you want to say eric about akashic records so he he does say you know, when you're, if you're really getting into the Akashic records, just remember, if you see something in the future, just like if you're told something by a psychic in the future, it could change based yeah. on the it's stuff that you do between here and there. Yes. Yeah, right. So it's not a guarantee just because you've seen it in the Akashic record, it could, it could change. You still have to maybe be active or proactive to get, to get there. 
it would be like, this is what might potentially be. Now, maybe it's a guarantee that that's what's going to happen, but that's the, he said the fun part about being human is we don't know what's really in the contract and what's our free will. Yeah. So just okay. because you see something in the Akashic record doesn't mean it's guarantee. See something, say something. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Eric. I love you both. Merry Christmas. And don't forget to check Jennifer Doran out at Psychic Medium Jennifer Doran. Thank you. Love you. Eric love sending you. his love. Merry Bye, Christmas. Everyone. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I don't care if you hit like. I never watched uh -huh. that. So. All right. Bye. Bye.